Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Diablo Immortal First Impressions. As it stands, I am currently the rank one necromancer on the leaderboard here. You can see I'm level 28 for my server's challenge. Challenge rifts, uh, the guy below me is 35. We're doing pretty good. I'm Paragon level seven. I've got far enough in the experience that now the server is starting to nerf my experience because it says we're too high level, etc. So I'm at the point where I'm gonna start uh, giving my first impressions. Now, I think the thing that's most important about this is to see what the combat actually feels like and get your impressions on the combat. I'm gonna put in some of my last, these are actually my very last legendary crest into an Elder Rift and show you uh, the RNG of the drops, which we can discuss as well. So that way you can see some legendary pay the win type of conversations. And then we're, uh, let's see, what are we gonna do? We're gonna do, uh, we're gonna do corpse damage radius increase. So let's go ahead and talk about the game. Um, what are the pros? The, the pros for me are very obvious, which is that uh, the gameplay itself is phenomenal. Like actually playing the game feels very smooth. Now this video is brought to you by Bluestacks and if you want to play it on PC, feel free to download and install Bluestacks, which will be an emulator that allow you to use uh, your Google Play points and all of that in order to make your purchases. If you're gonna make any purchases, it's also an emulator that has controller support and everything. So if you're having any problems either with the official client or you want to be able to use the Android Play Store version of it, I do recommend Bluestacks and the link will be in the uh, pinned comment down below. Now with a sponsor message out of the way, uh, the gameplay itself is very, very, very smooth. What does that mean? Uh, that means the combat feels impactful. It feels fun to do. It doesn't feel like I'm fighting the controls. In particular, I'm talking about mobile here as well, because on mobile, uh, I, I think they did an exceptional job. All the menus work fantastic. I've run into zero bugs on mobile. Everything seems very smooth. Uh, the graphics are actually really good. You're looking at the high level graphics right now. I think the graphics look quite good for a mobile game in my own personal opinion. Uh, I would say the story is is pretty good. The voice acting is at that Diablo level. I couldn't even tell I was playing a mobile game when I was playing the story. To be honest with you, it seems as high tier. I honestly think the graphics look just as good as the as any of the other Diablo games. I mean, it, it, for me, it's at it's at the point where it's like, yes, they definitely put some quality, some time, and some effort in this game. That's my first impression when uh, I'm looking at it from a review point of view. It's like they actually put some time and effort into this one. You can tell. You can tell they kind of took the release feedback serious when they announced it back there uh, at the where everyone thought there was going to be Diablo 4, and then they set and they actually tried to build a good product. I, I, I now understand why people were saying in the beta, it's like, wow, this game is actually really smooth and enjoyable because it is. So enough about the gameplay. Let's talk about some of the mechanics. What, what are some of the things you actually do in the game? Well, it's Diablo, so it's gonna be a lot of monster, monster slaying. You're gonna do the story first. After that, you're gonna unlock hell difficulty. You're gonna do your dungeons for different set pieces. Try to complete your sets while you're doing that. You're also gonna be leveling your Paragon level and doing PVP in between during queues. And the PVP itself is, is sort of like a MOBA, like you push these, it's a mix of PVE and PVP. Like so there's people defending, they have to defend the bosses and, and there's people attacking the need to basically attack the bosses, okay? It's pretty much that simple. And then at the end, there's like a, a, a nexus you have to attack and blow up. If you've played any MOBA games, you're gonna be acutely familiar for it. The PVP is pretty good. Uh, I, I would say it feels fun. I, I'm surprised that it's not as laggy. I know there was some rubber banding for some people, but I wasn't really getting very much lag. Normally, uh, the first thing I notice in mobile games when I'm playing PvP during launch is lag. Speaking of launch, there hasn't really been uh, server issues. I would say all, people seem to be getting in the server. I haven't even experienced a queue yet, and we did publicize our server and really kind of promote it. I expected it to be much more full. Um, it is a full server. It says it's full. However, oh, I'm not getting queues or anything. There hasn't been any drops to the server. I'm not getting lag. Uh, honestly, the launch is quite impressive. Uh, it's, a, it's a very good Blizzard launch. I wanna talk about a social aspect of the game because there's some people that just really enjoy social parts of the game and that, that's important as well. If you like social aspects in this game, here we go. We got Mocking Laughter, Chain Death, and Pain of Subjugation. So those were three crests and none of those are anything I need, although they will be used as father to level the ones that I do actually need. There's also some quality of life here. Like if you look, I just completed a rift, so they have a blacksmith that just drops right here so I can go back and actually crunch the stuff I don't want. There, there seems to be good quality of life with user interfaces and, and thinking ahead in terms of what's going to decrease the frustration people experience with. And I love that. 
Okay, love that a lot. The codex, it does a pretty good job of actually teaching you where to go and what to do. It's going to, it has a guide here that you're going to follow and the guide's going to give you some pretty good points, which is where you're going to get a lot of your experience. So most of the gameplay loops going to involve trying to fill up your battle pass to get the bonus experience by doing the different random things, either battlegrounds, forgotten tower, tomb, etc. Uh, but let's talk about the social aspect. So there's clans. If you go here to the clan system, you can see uh, this is the whole Shadow Clan. We became a Shadow Clan. These are all the different activities. This view, the shadow detail thing is bugged. It keeps popping up. But um, the Shadow Lottery contracts, Path of Blood, Raid the Vault, Battleground, Assembly, Rite of Exile, and Shadow War. These are all just the different things I can do just within the clan system. I mean, the contracts are sort of like uh, a whole nother quest system. And there's already quests in the game. There's normal quests, there's main quests, there's bounty quests, so you can even pick up bounties every single day from a bounty board and then do all of those quests. So there's a lot of content in this game, honestly, and there's difficulties that you can't even get to for a long time. Hell 1 requires, you see, look, it Genesis drop sets and require party of two. Uh, if you look at this, in order to go with Hell 2, Drops equipment for Paragon level 30 to 130. D high difficulty, Paragon level too low to equip items dropped here. I can't even equip those items until I'm Paragon 30. Hell 3. 80 to 210, health 4, 150 to 300, health 5, 240 to 600. So it's going to take a really long time to even get there because you get lower and lower experience the higher level you get uh, if you're above the server paragon level and every day the server's level increases. This is like a catch-up mechanic. So if you're starting now today and you're like two days behind, there's a massive catch-up mechanic for you to help you get caught up in experience. So there is there's some pretty well thought out things in this game. There's also a pretty like fully fledged out uh, friend system. There's a fully fledged out chat system as well. Um, in the, it's in the bottom left corner. Let me go ahead and just uh, remove my camera real quick. Look at this, there's a full chat system with all the different ways of doing that. That is actually pretty impressive um, as well. The game is a full game. I don't know what else to say. I mean, it, it is basically feels like a full Diablo game. I will say the Paragon system is way different. So now there's like a Paragon tree, which is as you level above your level 60, you go in here and you you spend your points and you can refresh your points once a week to change the different thing. If I didn't want to be Vanquisher, if I wanted to be Survivor, I could go in here and give myself more life, more unyielding, et cetera, et cetera. And we could do that instead of going down the, para, uh, the Vanquisher tree, which is the one I'm doing because I want the bonus damage. Pretty much that simple. Okay, so there, there's a lot of systems in the game. Um, I will say that you're going to want a controller because your hands will get sore. I, like I, I played 40 hours already of the game and it's only been out two days and dude, my hands starting to hurt. They're, they're starting to hurt for sure from grinding out the game. And there's no way around that without like a controller and mouse and keyboard can be kind of buggy. Like I, I definitely think the best experience is on a controller on PC or on the phone. So download in the link down below. You can support my sponsor. Use a controller, which works great with Bluestacks. Uh, that's what I would recommend as well. That being said, what do I give the game in an overall review and rating? I actually think the game is, I've been driving a lot of hype for the game. Um, I think the game is honestly better than I thought. I, I, I was kind of guarding myself for a disappointment, to be honest. And uh, I would say, if you're worried about the pay the win wise, Sure, you can be disappointed about that. There's a lot of pay the win in the game, okay, for sure. However, the game is legitimately fun. Uh, it's it's one of the smoothest gameplay experiences I've had. There is no, there's no way around actually playing the game. I think the best thing about the game is is like all of this gear. Like I can't buy this gear. I can buy the gems that go in it, and I can awaken it. But the gear itself has to be ground. All these sets, you have to grind all these. Like you have to put in the time. The experience, there's no way to buy experience. Like you have to play the game. So when you look at somebody and you look them on the leaderboard, right? You're like, okay, let's look at this death guy. Let's see what he's got. He's, look, he's Paragon 4. Let's look at his stats. Here's his stats. He's 906 combat rating, etc. Like, you know, you can see his stats. You can see his gear, see what he equipped on it. Like he's got some pretty good, he's got some pretty good, he got five out of five star gym, which is, insane lucky honestly that's crazy but um you can actually look at them and you can see they're actually playing the game you're not going to see like a level 30 way up here that got it just because of gems unfortunately for those uh gemmers it doesn't quite work that way so uh i, I like that too i like that uh, there's a the amount of time you're going to be spending in this game is crazy this is way more mmo than any mobile game i've played i think it's worth a download i think it's worth a try if you're look looking to spend money i'd buy just the five dollar battle pass and stop at the $5 battle pass. That's my review.
Eight and a half out of 10, maybe nine out of 10. I think when the PC client is 100% solid, it's gonna be even better. In the meantime, we'll have blue stacks.